Alrighty, howdy y'all, welcome back to the Witch 3 Wild Hunt. And in today's episode, hopefully we're going to cure Uma. Let's get started. His long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. All right. Let's see what we got. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the part? All the stuff for the doctrine of the grasses. So we go over here. It's a potion, I believe. No, it's a doctrine. It's a doctrine. I, I don't even know how you pronounce it. But uh, let's see. I cannot do it. Meaning you guessed. Mm. Yes. What is it? You got all the stuff. See Brew. How? How do? How do brew? How do? Oh, it's a quest thing. Okay. So here it is right here. Where's she in? There she is. Okay. Potions ready. Tools too. Good. There's a mirror. Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. Sent him into shock and killed him. So everything's going smoothly. No, but it's within no norms. Administer the next potion. Why'd you keep the table then? Geralt, next potion. to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witches. Without this... He... <laughs> Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags on it. Syria there. She could come out of this cripple, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? 
course I have. Thing is, we don't have a choice. Not anymore, we don't. We rushed it. Should have started by... Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. We're given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, yeah. you're dozing off. No, I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first, then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, yelling, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Siri. Her blood. Elder blood. To open the gate. We cannot. We cannot allow this. Isle of Mists. Where is it? Everywhere. And nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Arvain. Arwen. In 
Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her. But the curse... The hunt... has not found the isle. As yet. It is a matter of time. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't... know. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. Seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through... Do you understand? I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Siri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? We'll be waiting for them, swords in hand. Yes. Time we, the hunted, became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here. And the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Quickly, <laughs> They're just jealous. All right, so we have to go to. So this is starting Act Three. We're on level 28 now. We can upgrade our character once again. I will be looking. Next episode, we'll upgrade our character here. This is just a short little, short little one here. This is Part Three. We're not going to get to level 30. I want, I want to get to. See what kind of side stuff do we have here? We got some side stuff we can do. How do we get out of here? Uh, I don't know. So we'll do some side stuff because we still got a little bit of time. Uh, probably one or two missions. Geralt. Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. Holy cow. Alright, there's a lot of stuff. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me. 
trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. What did Aridin want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Aridin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did, and if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me, after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? So... Feel any different after our encounter with the Jinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Thanks, Yan. See you later. All right, so yeah, let's uh, talk to the people. Yes? What is it, Wolf? I met with Amir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Tamaria, Redania, Cadwin, Eden, And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in ballads. Not much left of that world. See you later, Vesemir. Okay, so what, um... So about the yin stuff that happened last episode. Romance and all that. So what we did, or how we got that ending, if y'all saw the Triss episode, we did Romance Triss, but I did it in another save. Because I wanted to see what happens. So if you do end up romancing Triss all the way, saying I love you on that one mission, you do not end up with Yin. And obviously I don't want that because that is a bad ending. Uh, everybody knows that's the bad ending, so I'm doing this one because I want to be with Yin instead of Triss. So I'm just looking for the other people. Are they not on the map? Esco. Hmm? Happen on any interesting contracts lately? Yeah, not lately. But about half a year back, I slew a manticore in Creighton, in a forest. Quick son of a bitch, that one. Jumped out of the undergrowth so fast my medallion didn't have time to give me so much as one twitch. I won't show you the scar. Too big a boy for that. Get a nice sum at least? Not one copper. Showed the beast's head to the elder in the nearest village. He swore on all the gods it was the first he'd heard of the monster. What about you? Besides the griffin, same old, same old. Neckers, ghouls, drowners. Haven't seen a manticore in... must be a year now. 
see it. All right, I think that's everybody. I don't know where Lambert is, but I think we talked to him all already. I was gonna do some side stuff, but um, I won't, won't worry about that. Uh, we do have uh, this one right here. So the uh, Forgotten School Gear diagrams. These diagrams are the ones for um, the Mastercraft version of this armor. Breed some pretty strange ideas. See, can we go outside? No. Find his notes in Care Morn. It says it's over here. Oh, a repair kit, that's nice. Is it up top, maybe? Oh, lonely winters breed some pretty strange ideas. Might be up top. Bunch of orange so we can get some money. Might be up top. Because it says nearby. There it is. This is all new for the next gen update. And then, um... Them were who's them were these are resumes. And then his we already read. Those notes I found at Care Morin. Seems Reynolds diagrams are the missing link. Should know enough to craft that armor now. So the brother in arms stuff is to get the the th um, armor, but we have to get level 30 to do it right here. I want to do that before we start the third chapter, if all possible. Uh, we'll do that in next episode. Actually, we'll do another side quest here. Because we might see these are these two are we'll do all the brothers and arm stuff and we'll craft the armor two how do we get out of here because we're not high enough level Have to be what level did it say? 34? Fort? 20. So we are, or no, 40. Actually, we are not going to be able to do it at all. Until the DLC. Sadly. 
I'll do some quest off camera. Ooh, nice. Alright, I'll be seeing you on the next episode of The Witcher. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit that notification bell. Oh, the fun stuff. I'm getting a bunch of armor here. It's good. What's in here? Handwriting looks familiar. Beggar's notes. Baron Gars. Papers have been lying here for years. How about that? He was working on a sword. And not just any sword, judging by his notes. <laughs> Torhan. Ought to talk to Vesemir. Baron Gar consulted him. Vesemir might remember how far he got. Well, we might have a sword we can get. Let's see here. We're about 30 minutes in, so good stopping point, but I want to talk to him first. See if we can see what the sword is. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Found some of Berengar's notes. From what I made out, he was trying to forge a sword. Torhan, you were helping him. Advising, at best. Boy never managed to forge the blade, but would never let me at the anvil. Just pestered me with questions. Wanted to do it all by himself, as always. But then the whole plan went to the devil, literally. What do you mean? Berengar set out to hunt a chort. The fiend had made its lair in the valley past the keep. Don't know why, but he took all his equipment with him. Maybe thought I'd tinker with his sword while he was gone. You know what he was like. At any rate, the chort turned out to be strong. Too strong. Berengar had to turn tail. And since it's hard to run with four stones of kit under your arm, he dropped it all. Came back red with blood. And shame. Hardly said a word. And left soon after, never to return. I know the rest of the story. How do I get to this chort's lair? <laughs> I knew you'd want to finish this. Easiest way is to take the river downstream, as far as you can go. But be careful. Berengar had his flaws, but he was a damn good fighter. If that chort's still there, you could be in for a wild ride. Okay, I'm thinking we should go do this. I'm sure it won't take that long. We're just fighting some things. I mean, should be fine. How do we get out of here? I always get freaking lost. Is this the way we came in? No, not this way. What way did we come in? Let's see here. The big doors, where are they at? Uh huh. Head down the river. Alright, let's see where it's at. All the way on the other side of the world, so... I have to get out of here first. I hope this blade is worth the, worth the time. Because I know I probably won't be getting XP for it. familiar in the beginning of the game when we was going this way yep I'm actually shocked I didn't die there but we need to be level 40 for that sword and stuff so or for the Um, if 
for the armor. I wish we could swim. I don't want to fight a bear. I don't want to be completely honest with you. We're now, what, 30 minutes in the video, so... Freaking drowner. There's a bunch of them over here. Give me a hundred meters, we can swim it. Or a hundred feet or whatever it's called in this game. Just don't want to get dragged underwater. The dude's lair should be right here. Where this cave is. River disappears here. I've got to be close. Freaking dark. It's dark, I can't see what it is. Oh, well, I have my sword on me. <laughs> Might need them. Come on, come closer. Can't see. Uh, let's uh, cast a little light on the subject, shall we? There, nice and quick. So much for the chort. Now to find Berengar's things. There's something over here. Ah, the diagram. Forging the Torhairn won't be easy, but it sure as hell worth a try. Okay. I'll go try it. 50 XP. Still not really worth it. How much, um, what do I get for it? Anything? Is it a steel sword? Um, see, that is what we're after. And that too, but this one right here is what we're really after. I guess I could go ahead and craft this. I don't know why I didn't craft it before, though. Oh, because I already had a better sword, didn't I? Because isn't this better? Than that one? I think it might be. Yeah, it's worse. That's better, obviously, but, but that's the one you really want, the Grandmaster one. Um, I just want to make sure that sword is going to be worth my time.
See, it's this one right here, or this one right here. And it's not really only a couple like a couple points off, so it's not really gonna be worth the time. We're gonna just call it quits. And I will be seeing you on the next episode of the Witch 3 Wild Hunt. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit that notification bell. Bye bye, and take care.